So you have a set of data like this that you want to import into a new Google Sheet. You know how to use import range, but you want to filter out certain parts of that data. For example, you just want a particular company or you want a particular product or sales rep. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the filter function with import range to import just the selected data that you want. We'll go through four quick examples that help you understand how to use the filter function with import range. Now, if you want to play along, there's a copy of this sales Google Sheet in the links below, and there's also a written version of the tutorial with a link to the sales sheet if you want further information or a copy of the formulas. Before you get started, go to File and make a copy of this sheet, and then create a new Google Sheet, and I'll meet you here. If you haven't used import range before, it might be a good idea to go back to one of the other tutorials in this import range series to understand the basics before moving on with this one. So the first thing we need to do is to import the entire data. We will put this in row three. So let's just uh, do a little bit of formatting here. So what we're going to do is say, let's say we want all the total sales and what the products are and who sold them for Kulas Moen, this company here. Okay, so uh, in this top one, we'll have a larger header. And let's just resize that to uh, 14. And control B, and we'll say total sales for client. And then we will put copy and paste our client name in here. Control C, go back over, and control shift V to maintain formatting. Cool. Now we want to just bring over the entire data set, so every single column for Kulas Moen. So I'm just going to select this column here. I select this row here, hit control C, and we'll go back to row two, control shift V, then control B to bold. We'll sort out our column widths in a moment. So just so we know everything's working fine, we'll just do a standard input range on this data. So let's start off with, let's zoom in a bit. And we'll start off with in equals import range. So the first argument for our input range is the URL, or it could be just the ID. Let's just put in the entire URL this time. I'm going to get rid of the edit bit. We don't really need it. Control V to paste. And then I'm going to put a comma in. And the next part is the sheet and the range that we want to select. So our sheet name is sales here. So we're going to type in sales, sales, exclamation mark. And then we want the entire range from so A to all the way across to O, and we'll keep that open. So we'll say sales A2, and that's no. And let's just close that and make sure we haven't made any mistakes. Excellent. So that's all loading really well. Uh, let's do a bit of formatting on our columns while we're here. I'm just going to click on column I, hold shift down to column O and just double click this so it fits to the width of the data. Uh, we can keep these items here. This is going to be an empty one, so we'll just move this over a bit. Okay, maybe we'll wrap this one. There we go. Now you note over here that when we use the import range, the images and the links came over with it. So that's really helpful. Okay, but as I said, we only want Kulas Moen to be displayed in our company. We've got our import range function up the top here. Let's use the filter function on it. So I'm going to click just on the, on the right hand side of the equals and I'm going to type in filter and put a brace around that and put a brace around that. Now we can make it make things a little bit easier for ourselves to read just by hitting control enter to put this data on a new line. You don't have to do that, but I just find it makes things a bit easier for you to read. So now we have an argument on each line for our filter. So let's open this up so you can see what's going on. So the first part of our filter formula is the range. And for us this time, this is that entire import range function. So after that, we need a comma. We hit control enter to get to the next line. And a couple of spaces in there. And now we need a condition. Our condition is the Kulas Moen condition. So first we need the range. So that's going to be that column B. So let's 
do this import range again. So I'm just going to select this here just to make our lives easier and hit control C to copy. And I'm going to go back onto that next line. Let's move this down a little bit so you can see. And we'll hide this so it's a bit easier to. And I'll hit control shift V again. Now we've got this A2O and we've got column B here. And I'm pretty and we've matched the columns to the original data. So it's just that's going to be this column B that we want. So over here where it says our range for our sales, we're going to make this B, B2, and B only. So this is the column that we're going to search Kulas Moen in. Now our next step is we need to say, well, if anything in B2B is equal to this Kulas Moen. So I'm going to go over here so I don't make a mistake with my spelling. Click on the cell with Kulas Moen in and then select the entire range that it's in. And then in our double quotation marks, I'm going to hit Control Shift V to put the name and close the double quotation marks and hit enter. Okay, so now you can see we've just got the company Coolis Moen in our range here. Cool. All right, what about if we want to filter this range? Perhaps we want to filter everything by the total of each price, this value over here. Let's just make a copy so you have a version of this and we'll duplicate. Call this one sheet two, imaginatively sheet two. So let's uh, make this a little bit smaller. So now we can go up to our formula here and it's fairly simple. All we need to do is to use the sort function. So I'll type in sort. And that's wrapped around the filter here. And now the sort function it first takes a range and then the column to sort. And then is it ascending or descending? Our next argument is the column to sort. So that column is going to be column L, but we need it as a number. Now I'll give you a quick handy way of figuring this out. So let's just tab out of this formula. It'll give us a bit of an error, but we know the total is here. So I'm just going to go equals sequence and then our sequence tells us how many rows. We want one row. We want, let's say, 26 columns. And we want start and step. And we'll close that. And now we've got a list of numbers here. We can say our quantity, our total is number 12 here. Awesome. I'm just going to delete that. We keep in our mind that was 12. So now we go back to our sort. We'll go over here and we'll type in 12. Now, do we want this ascending or descending? So with numbers, if we say ascending, it'll start from the smallest to highest. If we say descending, then it'll start from the highest to smallest. We want it from the highest to smallest. So we are going to use false. So is it ascending? False. We want it descending. And hit enter. And now you can see over here, these total values are going from the highest down to the lowest. Now, probably one of the fastest way for you to start modifying and just showing select parts of a filtered import range is just simply by hiding the columns. So what we can do here, I'm just going to select D, hold shift down, go to G, right click and hide. And that's tidied things up nicely. Now we can see really quickly, the highest total is 18,799 and our lowest is 139.86. And we can see all our sales reps and their rep emails. What about if we wanted to look at a particular sales rep and how well they did? Let's create a new sheet. So we'll just duplicate it and clear it out. So we've got all our formatting. So I'll go duplicate. Or we'll rename this creatively to uh, sheet three. I'm going to select uh, A1, control shift to the right a couple of times, control shift down a couple of times, just hit delete. Go back up to A1 and we'll say total sales for rep sales rep and we'll put their name in in a moment let's open this up now we don't have to play with our formatting again so i'll just uh, move this out to here drag this out so everything's about the same we'll drop it a bit wide that's okay and let's have a look at a for look at a sales wrap that we might want. So we'll control shift right over here and let's use D 
Stephen J. Russell. I'm going to select him and hit Control C. So we've got a reference of him over here and in C1, Control Shift V, paste him in. Again, we want all the header details, so I'm going to select row one, Control C, back to row two in our sheet three, Control Shift V. So let's do our import range and filter again. So this time we need to import this entire sales range again, but filter by the sales rep's name, which is in column N here. So we don't have to reinvent the wheel. We've got a formula over here. I'm going to just select all of this, control C, go back to sheet three and hit control V. And we want this. So our range is going to be the same, but the condition here is going to be different. The column that we want to look at is going to be column N. So let's change that to N. And it's not going to be coolest Mullen anymore. It's going to be, who did we choose? Stephen J. Russell here. And control shift V. And we'll hit enter. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, let's tidy this up a bit. Um, let's do, fix up those columns. We can make column C a bit smaller. So with column G. Everything comes in nicely. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and hide column D through to column G because they're probably not important for looking at the sales earnings for the rep. So let's hide those. So now we can see what Stephen J. Russell has earned as a sales rep and from which company he has earned it. Okay, so let's have a look at a final example. Let's say we want to have a look at Stephen J. Russell's total earnings that are above $1,000 for each sale. So let's uh, open up, a, let's duplicate this again. I'll copy this and make it sheet four. And we'll just say uh, total sales for sales rep or say uh, with totals over $1,000. Nice. All right. This will require us to have an extra argument in here. So how do we do that? Well, if we have a look at our filter argument, we can add as many conditions in there as we want. So basically all we need to do is to find our totals, which are going to be in column L and only view the ones that are over or equal to a thousand dollars so let's add in a comma here and again we will just simply copy and paste this input range and hit control enter double spaces and then we've got our second condition and we need to make a few changes here so we had sales and we need to get the totals so that's column l And then we need the amount. So instead of just having it equal to $1,000, because there's probably nothing perfectly equal, we want something equal to or above. So if we say greater than or equal to, and now we type in 1,000 and then hit enter, we can now see that we, have, we don't have values under $1,000. It's still a bit unclear about Stephen J. Russell's earnings. So let's just quickly go up here and we'll type in, we'll do a sort again to help you remember how to do that. Sort, open up that brackets, we'll scroll down to the bottom of it here. There we go, hide this. So the sort column uh, is going to be this value here. I think it was 12 from memory. And then we want to say false because we want it descending. And we'll close those braces here. Hit enter. And now you can see our, his top earnings was 39199 And his lowest earning before $1,000 was 1047 20
Okay, that's it on how to filter import range using the filter function. As you can see, there's a lot going on in this formula and it can look a little bit messy if you're putting in more and more conditions. So perhaps a better approach might be to use the query function. The query function will also allow you to select certain columns and uh, do sorting inside the query function as well. So in the next tutorial, we're going to cover how to filter and sort your import range data with the query function. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button. And if you want a notification of when the next tutorial comes out, please subscribe and click that notification bell. Until next time.